walking down, we got Dorian Gordon, the problem. H is 24 and he is 5'8", fighting out of Richmond, Indiana. Training with Subdue Combat Sports. His coach is Damian Sexton, which I've watched Damian fight a few times. He knows how to fight in kickboxing for sure. So he's got, Gordon's got a good corner, good coach coming into this. He's got three years of experience. He's an orthodox fighter. He's got two kickboxing matches coming into this as well. Now Handyman on Demand is booking new roof replacement and repairs. So give them a call. Do you need a new roof replacement or repair? Atkins Property Solutions for all your property solutions. Go ahead and give them a call. Tom Cones, obviously auto repair. We all know that one. We're all in cars every day. So if you need one, give those guys a call. Walking down now, we got Tyler Potters. He's 20 years old, 5'2". We definitely got a height difference in this one. His official weight was 120.4. He is fighting also out of Richmond, Indiana. Training out of boot camp boxing. His coach is Gus Duty. He also has Brandon Potters in this corner as well. Now he's got four kickboxing matches under his belt and he's got one year of experience of martial arts. So one year of experience and this is now his fifth fight. That's saying a lot, man. I tell everyone one fight is like three months of training because you learn so much when you're out there. So obviously this kid is hungry to compete. And I'm excited to see this one. So Ty, what do you think of this fight? This is your weight class, right here. It's gonna be fun, I'm thinking. Well, I'll keep an eye. They're kind of short though. Yep. Here we go, first round. Ooh, a kick right off the bat by Gordon. Gordon going for a late kick here on Potter. Oh, Gordon. And a kick to the body. He's only thrown kicks so far. We got kicks and bunches from Gordon using that push kick. Ooh, good little front snap kick there. The Potter's using good movement, man. He's using good footwork, good little bounce to him. Lands a good leg kick. Gordon with the response in the body. The Potter's good at hitting that angle, moving out, it feels like. Using the jab to kind of set up his distance. Gordon got a good bounce using that push kick. Oh, 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 oh I'm not, uh, I was, that was almost.
a knee to a grounded opponent there. I'm, I'm not sure how that one's going to get handled. There's almost as they're getting into a grappling match for a second. Ref's giving Potter his time to recover. I mean, he's got five minutes. Now ref's going to talk in the gore and let him know that he can't be doing that. So here we go. We're going to go back, touch gloves, and we're going to come right back at this. There we go. Back to good little bounces. Working their angles. Looks like Gordon trying to measure them up with a straight hand out. Ooh, they're getting into a little tussle here. Both of them working for it. But Gordon's going into the clinch trying to use his knees. Potter work, trying to work his way out. The ref breaks this up. Yeah, 10 seconds. Oh, good, good body nice kick. body kick. Gordon working for it. Bunch of swings there at the end. To end that round. Yeah. So again, in this first part of our fight, we want to thank Handyman on Demand, Tom Cones Auto Repair, and Atkins Property Solutions. And as always, thanking our ring girl, Cassie Pope, for getting in there. Now, I would think that uh, Tyler Potter's corner is letting him know he's got good angles, he's got good movement. If he can work himself to the inside there and land a couple shots, uh, the inside body shots big time here on Gordon. Uh, but Gordon's, when they get close, he's real good at trying to make this clench happen to throw these knees. And I think that's kind of throwing Potter off, but if he can angle himself out of there, he can then land some things when Gordon's trying to grab him. Body kick, trying to jump on their Gordon. A good little calf kick there by Gordon. Ooh, Potter went to throw a push kick, and Gordon caught it. Caught him with her hand. Now here comes that clinch with those knees again. Tyler's trying to keep the hand down to block it out. Push kick to the, to the face of Potter there. Potter's trying to throw that body kick, got caught with the left jab. And Gordon throwing that head kick out there. Ooh, good little body kick by Gordon. Ooh, that was low. That was low. I, that was a little low. He snuck it in. Now Potter, he's got five minutes for this. Catch his breath after getting a couple of those things kicked up in there. I know that's not fun. This happened to me. <laughs> of course, my last MMA fight was uh, with a friend, <laughs> with a friend of mine, Ryan. And uh, right before we walked out, Ryan told me uh, hey, one one free groin shot. Don't forget that. You know, we're good friends. I I accidentally landed one, but I made sure he knew in the middle of the fight. Like, uh, you did say one free one. Ooh, it quickly back at it. Potter's in Eno time. He wants this. Ooh. Oh, calf kick by Gordon, but Potter with the left, the left hook. There we go. Great block. Lands. Ooh, now Gordon's got to keep that right hand up because Potter's finding that left hook. But Gordon's coming in heavy now. But I like the way that Potter's keeping his hands in guard and just the right spot to kind of block that that kick that's coming up. Now he had his right hand up. That was a good block. A good head kick by Gordon. But I don't think it phased Potter. But Potter's looking for that left hook again. It's there if he can get himself a little closer. Ooh, a little push kick by Gordon. Gordon's quick with the kicks. 
I think, ooh, that was a good, good, good calf good. kick on that leg to get that fall. Gordon's throwing those hands in the end of that leg kick. That's a good strategy, because that way he can bring it up high like he just did there. Come back with the left kick, utilizing a lot of different tools. Good sportsmanship at the end of the round there. Adkins Property Solutions for all your property solutions. And thank you to Cassie Pope for putting up that round three for the second time. And here again, I think Potter's starting to feel that he can get that left hook in there. He just got to end that distance. So that way, if he can get a little bit closer as Gordon's going to kick, it'll kind of diffuse the kick, and then he can land that hand. Now, Gordon, I think, should be using his distance a little more. I know he likes that clinch, but he's a lengthier fighter. If he uses that length, he can land a lot more shots. And he's using those leg kicks good, but I, I, they should get him a little bit more by being able to land that leg kick, step out, and set up the angles. And Potter's good with his guard. Gordon's trying to keep him pinned in the cage. And Potter found his way back out to the middle. Ooh, good, good bounce and movement there by Potter. Gordon is setting that up, trying to feel it out. Distance with the right hand and set that kick up. Using his kicks to really, really disrupt Potter's timing. But landed that left hook I've been talking about. He got it good. But I'd like to see him even take that left hook to the body. If he, if he sees those kicks coming and moves the inside and lands that left hook to the body, I think it'll make some damage. But Gordon's got to, again, I feel, keep that distance and set up those kicks that he's doing. These guys are coming back and forth. There you Ooh, go. That's a good left hand there by Gordon. Now they're both into this inside fight. Ooh, Gordon just missed that head kick, comes back with some hands. So again, Potter's got good movement. Ooh, good naked right coming back with the left. Gordon using that push kick to try to keep that distance. I think this is the first time I've seen Gordon take a hard breath, though. So let's see if Potter can capitalize on this. But Gordon using those legs to really keep control. Ooh, oh, good nice. left hand left by hand. Gordon. Now we're inside of like five seconds now, and these guys are going at it. I love it. There you go. What a good there fight. Go. And good sportsmanship. Again, I, I can't say it enough. I love the sportsmanship. I love when guys can come together at the end and understand the respect that this is supposed to give for us. And then we're gonna go to a decision.
We got Gordon with the decision win.